In this demo, we'd like to highlight the Event tab to demonstrate Falcon Host's near real-time event retrieval for events and advanced searches. I'll start off by just opening a remote desktop session on a host with Falcon Host installed. Once I'm on a target host, I'll open a command prompt with elevated privileges. For this demo, I'll run a handful of commands that are often associated with an attack just to illustrate how quickly, how granular, and just how powerful the searches in Falcon Host can be. I'll start by changing directories and then running the command, who am I? In the events app, in the Falcon UI, we can immediately search for these types of events. This app uses the Splunk query language for those who are familiar with Splunk. And for those who aren't, our Intel ninjas have created a threat hunting guide with their top search recommendations. Here, we'll simply query IO sessions connected or remote desktop sessions launched. And then in the search results below, we can see the session that we had just created. Since I also ran the command with elevated privileges, we can also query instances where privileges have been elevated by searching UAC exec elevation. Running this query against your organization may uncover instances where privilege escalation is being used inappropriately. The Events app allows users to search on any one of the hundreds of different events that the Falcon sensor constantly captures. It's also able to do this within minutes or even seconds of the event happening on the system. Moving back to the remote desktop session, I'm going to enter a list of commands that could easily be associated with an attack. First I'll launch PowerShell in an attempt to hide all of my actions. Then I'll create a directory called xfill on the desktop. To illustrate the breadth of searchable commands, I'll create a service called evil service that starts the ping.exe application, perhaps to check a connectivity to one of my CNC servers. Once that is successful, I'll download a zip utility using a connection to my FTP server, in this case, rar.exe. And that will allow me to zip and encrypt any documents I'd like to take and hopefully avoid DLP detection. Then finally, I'll connect an external USB drive and copy the zip files to it. A quick inspection in Explorer shows the zipped file in the mounted E drive. While an attacker probably wouldn't copy something to a local drive, this is something an insider with malicious intent might do. In this example, I've mimicked a number of techniques that are often used once an attacker finds their way into an organization. Oftentimes, if an attacker has gotten this far, your AV has been of little use. Falcon Hosts in the Events app is a powerful tool for discovering threats or behavior that appear suspicious from either an internal or external actor. Using the PE file written command, we can see the rar.exe file was created. Using a command search such as fs volume mounted can show us that an external drive was also attached to the host. While each of the commands I ran could be searched individually, there's also a powerful search argument that can be used in the events app, the command history argument. Typing command history for a single host will list all the commands associated with a recent attack for the selected time period. In the search results below, we can easily see each command and get a clear picture of what happened to the owned endpoint. In fact, a further inspection, we can even see the passwords used to encrypt the documents. And then towards the end, we can see that they were copied to the E drive. This is just a small example of how powerful and granular the advanced search capabilities are in the Events app. And all this can be done in just a few seconds using Falcon Host.